All right, guys. Um, I just finished up 16.1. Let me give you my best insight I can for it, okay? For the overhead lunge. In the overhead lunge, what I found is when I went wider, I wasn't quite as stable as when I went narrower with my hands. So if you can accommodate it, try to go narrow. Specifically, what I did, because my brain was a big pile of mush, is I used the inside knurling mark on this bar right here. So my first time I went wider, my set, all the rest of my sets I went narrower with the inside of my palm right on that part of the bar, of the bar right there. Um, play with that before the wide starts so you can see where you're most comfortable at. If you, on the lunge, what I found in the beginning is I was taking big healthy steps because I wanted to take as minimal as I could for the 25 feet. But what I found is as I got tired, the key was to just keep on moving. So short, choppy steps with the, with the uh, ner with closer grip if possible. If you go with the scale version, we're gonna hold the bar here. Make sure you get it on the meaty part of your shoulder. Don't let it sit here, otherwise it'll be pulling you down as you walk. You gotta keep those elbows up so the bar sits on the meaty part of your shoulder. And once you pick that bar up, as far as pacing goes, be confident you can go the whole 25 feet without putting it down. You don't want to pick it up when you're taxed and have to put the bar down early. Next came the pull-ups. I'm going to suggest that whatever your pull-up is, you do not redline on your pull-ups. Even if you can do eight. If it's everything you got to get to eight, maybe do six, come off, do two more, and use that break as a chance to start your recovery from the pull-up over to the bar, okay? So that way when you get off a pull-up bar, you're not just smoked, and then you gotta come over here and take your break. Do five or six, don't redline, then come over. If you can do eight in a row, do eight in a row. Then we come back to the lunge, same thing goes for the lunge, and then we get to the burpee. What I found for the burpee, a fall down was my best strategy. So just fall. Just fall right down from here, take a big step up, a big step up again, and it has to be a two-footed takeoff and a two-footed landing, so that's what I found was the best deal. When I went with a full burpee, I was just taxing my cardio too much and I was getting winded. So that fall down, take advantage of free gravity, and then step over is what I found was the best. And same thing with the pull-up bar. When I get to that, when I get to that lunge, I want to be ready to go. So what I suggest is, Maybe you do seven burpees, and your eighth burpee looks like this. And now you got a little bit of recovery, rather than doing a fast burpee and standing up and waiting because you don't want to be taxed when you pick that bar up. Now we say this a lot in all of our workouts. You don't have to go fast. You just have to go. And that's the case for this 20 minute grinder. You do not have to come out of the gates fast. You just have to march and then keep yourself moving. If you do your burpees slow, you always move. If you come off the pull up bar, you have an idea. Hey, I'm gonna take one, two, press and go. And I'm back on. Have a game plan so you never have to stop moving. All right guys, that's all I've got. Kick ass on 16.1.